Michael Lee, your road to the Palm Beaches out here in Evergreen Acres, checking out this new property that just came on market, three bedroom, two baths. And Evergreen Acres is a neighborhood that features 43 homes total. So it's a little small, quaint neighborhood where the average price is about 440,000 to going all the way down to maybe 350,000, depending on the condition of the home. So let's go ahead and check out this home that's been completely renovated. Three bedrooms, two baths, a little bit over 1,300 square feet. Let's go. All right, so we're checking this out. Three bedrooms, two baths, one foot under 1,400 square feet total. So we are in the living room. Starting out open floor plan, as you can see, that connects directly to the kitchen. Now the layout that you would have, you probably don't want to have a lot of bulky furniture in a layout like this because of the living room size. And I'm not sure where you would place your television because of the bedroom being here. But you would kind of want to have more of a contemporary contemporary style furniture and a little bit smaller of a smaller area for a dining room. So I would consider this more so of a starter home for a family more so than somewhere, or somebody that's looking to downsize as well that would be looking to come here. Uh, the kitchen has been immaculately done with the waterfall island here. And a lot of things that I like to see in these new, newly renovated homes are the under cabinet storage that they do have for additional space. I know everybody can use some additional space, especially in the kitchen, if you don't have a pantry in some of the larger homes that you see coming on market. So that is great for that. Countertops are pretty much standard that you see in the homes, white classic. And what I do like about this kitchen are the blue subway tiles. Now blue is a favorite color of mine, so it has a nice contrast to that kitchen. So you just don't see pure white throughout the kitchen or like the black and white that you see in most of the kitchens that I tour on this channel. So I like that. So let's start off by touring Checking out two of the bedrooms. So three bedrooms, two baths. So let's start off by checking out the first bedroom here. Recessed lighting throughout, which is great. Um, you can add your own additional lighting if you need to. All the windows have been replaced. Closet doors have been replaced. So I know some of these ranch style homes that you see that are a little bit older on the floor to market, they used to have mirrors here but these have been completely replaced with some very nice closet doors. Second bedroom on the left with a view of the backyard, which we'll check out in a bit. Another closet space as well. Decent size. So if you do have small children, this is a nice solid bedroom for each one. Bathroom, done top to bottom as well. Nice contrast with the, I'm not really sure. This isn't really, this isn't really granite, I don't think. I'm not sure the material, I have to find out what that is. I have not seen this material in bathrooms before. So I have to check out what that is. Now this looks like slate tile that flows right into the shower. Frameless doors, which you do have that kind of hotel feel, which is nice. We have that kind of resort style feel with the frame of doors as well, which I always like. Let's see. AC unit. But you can't beat with that. So let's go straight across and check out the primary. Primary with a view of the front yard. And you have dual closets since you'll probably have space for two people here. Now this primary bedroom, compared to most bedrooms on the market, it is a little on the small side. So you may want to think about furniture when you come in here, but it's still very well done. Very nice layout. Um, let's check out the bathrooms here. Same exact bathroom as the other bedroom on the other side of the house with the same kind of material here. I believe I'm just gonna go with the granite and just says it has some type of different material. I do have that. I really want to find out what that is. Same flooring, except for the shower, is twice the size as the one in the guest bath. Rainfall shower head, as well as the standard shower head with the rainfall. So you pretty much have the exact same shower head, but 
One that's coming off the wall and one that's coming from the ceiling. So I'm gonna tall do this so one. Yeah. It's a little close for me. So I'll probably go with this one over here. Either way, you know, tall people props. Very nicely done. Now let's go ahead and check out the back part of the house. Now this seems to me as an additional sunroom that was enclosed, which was pretty nice, I would say, because a lot of times in Florida, this would most likely be a patio that could have been screened in and part of this was outside, but they did enclose this with your washer and dryer. So it would have been pretty crappy to go outside to do your laundry if this was once a screened in patio. I'm not really sure what it was, but they did enclose this space to add some additional square footage to the house. So this is where you maybe could have an additional playroom for children or an additional dining area or an additional seating area. You can do a lot of different things with a Florida sunroom. So you kind of leave this up to your imagination on this one. And um, pretty well done, pretty well done. So let's check out the backyard. Beautiful tree here. This looks like a mango tree. So, nice walkway that continues on around the front to the front yard. As you see, you have ample space which is fenced in, so you don't have to worry about if you have pets or children, you don't have to worry about them running off in the backyard and getting lost. On the other side, it looks like you're backed up to a mangrove here. Everything is nicely fenced in. You do have a light, small patio space here, maybe for a small grill if need be. But I mean, you do have some great yard space. So room for a playground, swing set, hammock. You do have another, I guess, pad space there. Looks like a shed could go here for some additional outdoor storage, maybe for some lawn equipment if you don't want to store it in the back. Uh, everything has been nicely done. So just a quick tour showing you guys what Evergreen Acres offers with this newly renovated three bedroom, two bathroom home, completely on the market. So if you guys like what you see, comment below and let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.